The third symphony is the entire piece of paper. Beethoven is writing a big piece of music about a little man. He's writing about Napoleon. The first uh, movement of Eroica starts with two slaps in the face. <laughs> now, you listen to me. This is Beethoven. We see land. This is what invaders did. This is what power was. Then the second movement is maps. It's military maps. And their rivers and their fields and their cities and all these places that have wealth in some way and I want to control them. It's one of the most profound music related to a compassion for someone you were thinking he was going to, to change the world. He didn't. And in the third movement, there's just insanity. With all this twist in the rhythm that you expect in the 50s of the 20th century. The fourth movement is Beethoven stubbing his nose at Napoleon. There's a shape at the bottom right of the painting that is Napoleon's hat knocked off, as if Beethoven has slapped Napoleon in the face. There's a giant dot in the top left of the final movement that if you see in the original, you won't ever see in a print, there's a letter N that's painted in, in black with black over it. While he despises Napoleon, he doesn't despise his ideas. And he's confused. And I think that's one of the reasons that it's such a long symphony. He's got a lot to work out about what it takes and what it means to be a hero.